Here's the worst example that I ever saw regarding medical woes. I was contacted by a 21-year-old client who came by to talk to me about nutrition. And he had a complaint. His complaint was severe psoriasis. Now, psoriasis are numerous burn-like sores that can be on the body. In his case, it was over 50% of his body. I was so disturbed by the sight that I asked him, how long have you suffered like this? And what kind of medical help did you get? He answered, I've had this condition for five years and my dermatologist can't help me anymore. That's why I've come to see you. I read something about nutrition. I was a bit taken back. I said, dermatologist, why were you seeing a dermatologist? Well, he looked at me and so I just landed from Mars. He said, I, I have this, this skin condition. And I said, no, respectfully, you do not have a skin condition. What you have most likely is gut disorder, and more specifically, you have a very severe reaction to a gut disorder. That's what happens when you have psoriasis. Psoriasis is literally merely an expression of what's going on in your gut. You see, if you look at the psoriasis, that's what the inside of your gut most likely looks like. I'll make you bet. You pretty much have only had one bowel movement once a week, and it hurts like heck. He said, how'd you know that? I said, it's pretty simple. Most likely your bowel is so swollen and inflamed that the good bacteria can't survive. The bad bacteria has taken over, and everything's out of kilter. If you let this go for a few more years, I believe you could become a victim of something much, much worse regarding some form of gut disease. You'd have to go see a medical doctor about that. So how many times in the last few years when you saw your doctor, did they discuss what you were eating or drinking? He hung his head and he said, never. They never said anything about that. Then he looked up and said, why didn't they tell me? I said, don't be too hard on them. They just know very little about nutrition. So let's improve on this situation and move on. Okay? But it won't be some magic pill. And this is going to be maybe the hardest thing that you've ever had to do. You have to want to get better first, and you have to be willing to do what it takes. Okay? So, they set him on a diet of abstinence, no soda pop, no grains, no dairy, as little sugar as possible, no nuts, or anything artificial that might look like chemicals that are designed to look like food. Then, I suggested plenty of fresh, clean water, raw veggies, or lightly steamed, very few fruits because we want to cut down on the, on the sugar, and good helpings of fish and meat, almond milk and eggs, and some greens, and various colored vegetables. Well, I'll report back. He came by three months later. And the first thing out of his mouth was, it's been hell. The cravings drove me nuts. But look at this. He raised his pants leg. There were no lesions. He pulled up his long sleeve shirt. There were no lesions on his arms. But there were large patches of new pink skin. And the smile across his face was the biggest Dallas. We had also supplemented him with time challenger skin cream 
and Time Challenger original formula. And these were supplements that seemed to help very, very well. We knew that Time Challenger original formula was designed to work on its mitochondria, which would then strengthen and be able to help with the repair work. Also went to suggest that he take at least 100 billion units of probiotic with at least 20 strains of bacteria. And we gave him some trace minerals so that he wasn't lacking in selenium or chromium or various other materials. And that was nothing else. Well, six months from now, he will no longer most likely suffer this condition at all. But his recovery, however, should last a lifetime. Therefore, I'll leave you with this. The lesson to be learned. Eat wholesome and be willing to ask the medical doctors about nutrition. If they shrug and do not respond, hire another one. Because remember, they work for you. So, do the very best you can. Keep a really good attitude. Be well.